Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 9 of Draft Day Sports College Basketball here on GM Games. Please consider giving their channel a like and a subscribe. Hop over to my channel and do the same. I'm over here as a guest blogger and hope you like the content and let's get into it. I've already gone ahead and simmed uh, from the 17th through the end of the regular season so we've got some mail. I have no idea what the scores are. There is some league news there. I guess we could cheat and look at, but we're not. So I hope you didn't look at it. So there we get started. So we, first off, we started with Lamar home game. We had a 14-point win. That was great. So we were up by just two at the break. Put them away easily in the second half. 22-20 uh, to 20 in the paint. Six to three on second chance points. They did get us on the fast break. Bickerstaff, a huge game. 28 points, 10 of 12 from the foul line. Eight of 10 from the foul line for Evans. He finished with 16 as they dominated the scoring. Still looking for some comments from you guys on how plus minus works, if you know. And uh, anyway, that was a good win. We will call that a good win. Figure out our next game here. I don't know how far down it was. And there it is. Woo, a narrow one-point win over Incarnate Word. 55-54 in front of the home fans. Bickerstaff, just one point. 0 for 6 for the game. 12 of 17 from the stripe for Bachman as he gets 19. 13 for Evans as he steps up again. Again, nobody off the bench. Noticing a theme this year, it's it's there's not a ton of bench scoring this season. Not a ton of bench scoring. We were down two at the half, beat them by three in the second half to get the one-point win. Uh, neither one of us shot very well. 33% for us from the field, only 7%. <laughs> 7%. One for 13. I'm sure I could hit one of 13 from three-point range. And I don't play basketball. Oh, well. A win's a win, no matter what it looks like, I guess. Correct? That's how we'll look at it. We come back on a short rest on a road trip. We do lose by 11 to Nichols State. Bickerstaff with 6. Evans with 25 led the way. 40% shooting. It's actually a pretty solid game. 3 of 14 is not good. Uh, they... We only had 18 first half points, 48 second half points. Talk about a tale of two halves. I've got no explanation for that. 21 out of 52. Yeah, I got no idea. That's uh, that's just ugly, ugly. Well, we take that one on the chin. Moving on, we do get back in the win column with a return home against Stephen F. Austin. 76-54. 22-point victory is nice. All five starters in double digits. Harris with 11 off the bench as we finally see him get back in a scoring routine. And he was 100%. Four for four, including one for one uh, from behind the arc and two for two from the foul line. That's a brilliant performance off the bench for Harris. A 15 for Walls. He leads the team in points. He's also there with four boards. Pretty evenly split. Solid, solid victory. And coming into the wire here, I don't know, we got just a couple of games left. Uh, road game against McNeese. In fact, I think this is the final game Yes, because we're at March 4th, final game of the regular season, 92-86 over McNeese. Bickerstaff and Bachman with 10, 18 for Walls, 22 for Evans, and Harris chips in 11 again. Another solid performance for him. Three for five, four for four from the stripe. Gotta like that. Let's check our inbox. Uh, scouting reports. We have a decision. Calvis Hunter is going to be playing for us. And we do pick up a couple of uh, more visits. Calvis Hunter, let's take a look at him. 
Uh, we're going to be committed. <sighs> Offered. All right, he's a 6-1, two guard out of Colorado. Three star. Okay, that's going to be a pretty good get for us. 243 overall. 59 nationally, 36 in the region, number nine by position. Outside shooter, scorer, decent passer and handler, average defense. We'll call that a win. So we pick up two two guards. Dwayne Houston's probably not very happy. Probably not very happy at all. Uh, I think I have turned the sound off, so when we get to the selection show, let me just double check that, guys. All right, sounds are muted, so we'll hope. Oh, you know what? I need to go see. We're getting into some uh, conference stuff here. We didn't have a conference game today. I forgot to look and see what our final regular season record was, where we finished in the league, what seed we're going to have for the conference tournament is now upon us. So let's take a look there at the standings. And we win the regular season, 16-4 and four overall. The head-to-head -head win against McNeese was the deciding factor. 23-6 and six on the season. I'm going to say that's a hell of a year. 13-0 at home, a solid 10-6 and six on the road. And if we take a look at the inbox, nobody's declaring for the draft. There's your final 10 for the player of the year. And, no, it's not there. It is this, I believe. I always forget where to find this. Well, we're in the conference. There's got to be a place to look to see the conference tournament. Let's scroll way up here. No, it's not. So it's not there. It's got to be somewhere. Let's check here. Oh, Bubble Watch. Are we, in the, are we even on the bubble? Look at that, number 52. That's not on the bubble, though. We're way outside the bubble, but that's okay. That's, you know, we're still, still getting there. And what else? So we're going to go to here. Oh, you know what? It was this. Yes. Southland tournament. There it is. Okay. So we are we're the number one seed. All right. So March 5th. So I guess let's go back to just the conference, I suppose. Games grid. That's what we want. Okay. Now now I see how it's laid out. I won't remember, but that's okay. All right. So let's see. Who's going to be moving ahead? Abilene Christian over Incarnate Word and Lamar Edges. Sam Houston, they play the very next day. Lamar and Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Abilene Christian and Southeast Louisiana. You may notice I'm a little more natural colored. I turned off two of my brighter lights. Um, I think it, you know, it looks a little bit better, I think. I've been using those for a while, but... I had them off today, and then I looked, and I went, oh, it looks, looks better. All right, so Texas A&M beats Lamar handily, and a big win for Southeast Louisiana. All right, nothing for us to see there. All right. Boy, it would be nice to punch a ticket to the big dance. We're not looking, though. Remember, we don't watch. We don't watch until the day finishes. Right, it stopped, but it's rendering. There we go. And we lost. Boo! Three-point loss. That kind of sucks. That sucks a lot. We were up five at the break, and we let it slip away. They outscored us by eight down the stretch. Bickerstaff with 19, Walls with 14, 
Bachman got into some foul trouble, but still played 30 minutes. Just no bench support. Boy, boy, boy. And Evans, Evans kind of let us down. He's been usually our number two scorer, so he does not show up in the big game. That probably resigns us to a probably resigns us to an NIT berth, I would guess. Which, you know, it's not the worst thing, but you know, we're still looking to get that first uh, first dance ticket punched, you know. Let's see. Uh key dates. Key dates. Selection show is March 12th. So let's go ahead and go to there. And then we will come back. All right. I went ahead and skipped the selection show so you guys didn't get blared out, even if the music was off. No reason to sit through all that. Uh, let's see. So the selection show we did... Postseason tournament, we're in the NIT, and we will be playing Arkansas. Wow. And yes, I know it's Arkansas. I actually was a pretty big Arkansas fan way back in the day when they were in the Southwestern Conference, Southwest Conference. Um, but that was a long time ago. Now they're in the SEC, and I don't care about them anymore. <laughs> I don't think anybody cares about them anymore. Well, I know two people that care about them, but that's about it. Um, all right, so if we go to, all right, here we go. So we'll sim to date. And we will follow our team along and see what kind of run we can make. So we've got Southeast Louisiana got a 16 seed. They're in a play-in game, it appears, with Binghampton. We're going to get Arkansas, Arkansas, and then Texas A&M Corpus Christi got Duke. What tournament is that? CBI? Duke went 16 and 15. Wow. You just wouldn't expect that from a Duke club. But that is all right. Can we watch the NIT tournament? We can. Wait a minute, what happened? How did that happen? We didn't show up on the grid, did we? <sighs> Wait a minute. Is that last year? We haven't played yet. NIT? Oh, that's Northwestern Northwestern. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. It was purple. I just assumed. My bad. Northwestern in the Big Ten. Okay, I'm cool now. There we are. All right, so we're a four seed in the south. We've got uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, LSU, that team. At least they're not in the NCAAs this year. San Diego State making the big trip from out west. Let's see. I want to kind of look. Okay, CBI or CI. That's, yeah, CBI. The the logos are backwards, Wolverine. Why? I haven't messed with any of the graphics. So why would the CIT have the CBI button and the CBI has the CIT? Inquiring minds want to know. Hello? All right. Anyway, who are they playing? They're not playing anybody. That seems weird. Oh, that must be a play-in game. All right. I'm cool. I'm cool. Let's go back to the, uh, let's go back here. Because all we're worried about right now is our conference. So we're not watching. La, 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 la. All right, something happened. There we go. All right, McNeese, they're in the CIT because that's a CBI button. And we just learned that was incorrect. Uh, we took down the Razorbacks. Pig Suey. How you like that? Southeast Louisiana beats Binghampton. Duke crushes Texas A&M. And we beat Arkansas 83-73.
Bickerstaff with 16, Walls with 15, Evans with a dozen, Harris with 15 big points off the bench, and we needed every one of those. We were down six at the break. We outscored them 51-35 in the second half. You got to like that. Only two of their starting five with double digits. Leading scorer had 13. That's a big win. I think that might be a program defining win to date. To date, we shot 58%, 35% from the arc, and 95%, 20 of 21, from the foul line. And we needed that because they were a perfect 21 of 21. They pitch a blackjack at the charity stripe, but we do them up a little bit better from the field. Gotta like that. All right, where are, well, let's go ahead and watch uh, McNeese State. I saw the score flash by, but I didn't see the final. All right, they beat Indiana State. Larry Bird's team goes down. If you weren't aware, Larry Bird played for Indi little known Indiana State. Uh, and we get the number one seed, San Diego State Aztecs. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Get it done. All right. I looked up because I could tell it had finished simulating. Ah, oh, well, you know, we knew our ride was going to come to an end. We just, you know, they're a lot better than us, I am sure. We were down six at intermission. Bickerstaff goes cold 0 for 4. And he just, he just didn't take many shots. He wasn't in foul trouble. He was getting to the foul line. I don't know why we didn't feed him. 10 points for Degala, 11 for Walls. Evans led the way. Daniels with eight off the bench. Just not. All five of their starters were in double digits. Nothing. Nothing we could have done there. 30 to 18 on points in the paint. Ouch. I don't think a scouting report would have really helped us. I don't really look at those. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and we will come back. Uh, let me go to the NCAA grid because we got time. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the, uh, fi to the final four, and then we'll go through that. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right. Appreciate you waiting patiently for the tournament to run its course. We've reached the final four. Here we are in the East Regional in Buffalo this year. Uh, Kansas, the number one seed, advances, uh, getting through Ryder, Illinois, and Boise State. Boise State, the surprise of the tournament here in this bracket, taking out Maryland. And then uh, Uwe Pui, uh, who was a 12-5 upset winner, uh, so we had a we had a Cinderella coming into the uh, third round there. What's that? The Sweet 16, 30, 64, 32, 16, yeah. Um, and then uh, Kansas beat them by 24. On the other side, Xavier and West Virginia advanced as chalk with West Virginia taking it into the finals there. Uh, Milwaukee, we saw Florida, the number one seed advance, taking out Brigham Young. And Virginia losing to Villanova. Mostly chalk. Villanova getting past Marquette. Might be a slight surprise. But no real upsets there. Over in the Nashville Regional in the south, uh, Kentucky loses to K-State. A little bit of a shocker, but they're a four seed. I mean, that's not, you know, that's not something you would rip your bracket apart about. Uh, so we actually had mostly chalk St. John's uh, taking out Michigan State. Is anybody surprised that Michigan State loses? You know, I'm happy about that personally. So, uh, you know, while chalk was expected, St. John's, and then, of course, they immediately lost pretty badly. So, I mean, you just have to imagine if Michigan State would have played, they probably would have got shut out in that game. So it's probably a good thing they didn't advance. And over in Oakland out west, there is southeast Louisiana. They lost by 34 to the defending champion Louisville Cardinal. And Louisville advances straight through, and it's all chalk out west. 
Wichita State beating North Carolina, Louisville taking down Gonzaga, and in the final four, it's number one, Florida and Kansas, number one, Louisville, and number four, K-State. And McNeese State lost. I don't know how many days we've got to go to get here, but we'll figure it out. We'll get there, I promise. Is it here? No. You know what we need to do? This is what I need to do. I need to go... I need to go to the game grid, and I need to go to the top-ranked games. There we are. All right, so we'll sim to date. We'll just get there, man. Just get there. Quit clicking the button, RC. Just get to the games. All right, so Florida and Kansas, Louisville and Kansas State. Ooh. Well, Louisville looks poised to defend their title. Didn't they win last year? I seem to recall them winning. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And Kansas beat the Gators, taking the SEC out of it. That's that's too bad. That's too bad. And let's see, April 3rd, that is the title game. And Kansas cuts down the Nets, the Jayhawks. We don't need to watch the recap. 88-73 for the Jayhawks over the Cardinals. Uh, let's see. We got an alert. Pro, uh, award winners. We'll check that out in a second. We've got some home visits, campus visits, award winners. So let's check out the awards. I hope that's not blasting your ears out. All right, let's check our conference, Southland Conference. All right, so Ron Boddicker, Sam Houston State was the player of the year. Kareem Smith out of HBU, defensive player, Brian Morrison, Southeast Louisiana freshman of the year, and I win coach of the year. Yes, we did something. I don't know if that helps our prestige, but we'll see. Uh, individual awards, first team all conference. Uh, nobody from our club team. It's not professional. It can't be a club. Forgot. Second team. All right. Melvin Evans and David Bickerstaff. Uh, our two guard. What's that? Our two guard and our power forward. Okay. It's a little surprising. We had the best record. We won the league. All right, the entire association, second team all-conference, Wichita State forward Dante Walker, Kansas guard Javin, Javin Weems, Seton Hall forward Patrick Crosby, Louisville center William Johnson, and Xavier forward Bart Scott. How do you pick uh, only one guard and three forwards? I thought you had to have one from each position maybe, maybe. Justin Grady, Marquette forward, Florida forward, Clifford Carr, Virginia guard, Alan Ogbay again, Southern Cal guard, Tony Manziel, and Florida guard, Lou Dix. Maybe that's why, because they picked three guards and no centers on the uh, first team. Those are your first team All-Americans. Player of the year, Justin Grady out of Marquette. Havin Weems, the most outstanding player in the NCAA tournament. Justin Grady, Player of the Year, and Defensive Player of the Year. Nick Bryant, Freshman of the Year out of Michigan State. And Bill Self. I've seen Bill Self, and I don't think that's Bill Self. Just saying. But he is the Kansas coach. Oh, it's a game. It's just a picture, man. All right. Um, 40 wins and one loss. That's strong. That is strong. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go to the off season yet. I can't go back and look at my team. Hello. Hello. No. No, not Southern Southland. There we are. All right. Oh, Northwestern. Can I go here? 
please no hello hello can I go here it won't let me do anything else that sucks I wanted to look at our final stats and stuff I'm sorry oh my god the game screwed me I guess we need to look at that at the end of the regular season oh well all right well we'll call that the end of this season um, another good year Are our guys gone? Hold on. Coaching jobs available. So what I don't know is, will people offer you a job or do you have to go apply for jobs? I don't know the answer to that. If you know, let me know below. Sometimes I'll do that in my football manager journeyman saves. I'll, I'll make it to where I can't take a job unless they offer it to me. But I don't know if that if that works here. So let's go to my office. We met the goals. I'm a little perturbed about this. I haven't heard back from Wolverine yet. Uh, I did send, a, it's been about a week, a little over a week that I sent, or no, it was the beginning of this week, but it's been a week since I sent it in. But as I said last episode, I'm just going to go go with it. If it, you know, if it turns out to cost me a job, it costs me a job. But um, so we have, Four years left on our, oh, two years left on our current deal. We've made 316000 in our career. And that's not my history. No, it's not. All right. There's got to be somewhere staff head coach here we go here we go all right so we've still got a poor reputation really come on coach history all right navy all right so we've been two years 24 and 8 both seasons we made it to the we've advanced one round further in the nit Oh, here we go. 2022. So our reputation has gone up five. Player development has improved. Scouting has gone up. Recruiting has reached 50%. Defensive has gone up almost to 50. And offense has eked up just a little bit. All right, so we're going the right way. We're showing positive trends. It doesn't hurt us to stay at Northwestern. I think I think we we continue to benefit from developing here. Let's do let's hold on. Click on the advanced menu. All right. So I have to do this anyway. Head coach jobs only. Got a lot of schools on probation, boys. Tulane, maybe. I'm going to say we're going to skip this round. I don't see anybody in there that jumps out. Miami of Ohio. I really feel I'm a Southern coach here, you know. I mean, we went to Navy up north, failed, came back home. We're doing well. I think, you know, I'm just a Southern roots guy. Academics, I think we need to look at academics. Because don't I have... Academics are high, yes. Okay, so we would... There we go. Okay, so we're still in the same spot. Um, so it would have to be, I would say... With high, we would have to be in at least the B minus category. I would think is where we would want to fit in. Let's skip this round. Drake, Stetson. Um, I'm just not feeling and Miami, Ohio is really the only one left. They can't hire a coach for nothing. All right, well, you know what? We're coming back to Northwestern State, boys. 
Didn't see anything that jumped out at me. But please, if you know one way or the other, uh, if you can if you can receive a job offer, let me know in the comments. Uh, all right, so we need to go in and hire assistant coaches. Let's see. There's our two letter of intents. So I think we fell short. I may have to, I'm going to have to try to do recruiting, I guess. I'm going to hate to do it because I hate the recruiting part, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's just, there's so much repetition in it, you know, it's just a lot of other games don't have quite the, quite the repetition, but all right, we're going to end it here. I'm going to go look at my staff and see if I want to hire anybody else. Um, actually, I guess I need to hire a whole new staff because everybody's gone. Boy, did I drop the ball there. I didn't offer anybody extensions. Are you kidding me? Okay. All right, well, let me go do that. I got some business to take care of. We'll see you guys next episode. Hit the like button, subscribe both to GM Games, jump over to my channel if you don't mind, and subscribe there as well. Hope you guys like the content, and we will see you next episode. Bye.